the North American X-10 was developed by North American Aviation as a technology demonstrator. The X-10 was used in the development of the SM-64 Navajo missile, and was unmanned. The Navajo surface-to-surface -surface missile was a supersonic intercontinental cruise missile, capable of delivering a nuclear weapon to the Soviet Union from bases in the U.S. The Navajo was capable of cruising at Mach 3 at 60,000 feet altitude. While developing the missile, critical flight technology needed to be tested. This included the inertial guidance unit and flight control avionics. For this purpose, the RTVA-5 was developed, which later was redesignated the X-10. The X-10 was powered by two Westinghouse J-40 turbojets, and had landing gear for normal takeoff and landing. It was a delta wing design, with all moving canard wings, which gave it extremely good aerodynamics. The X-10 was unstable, and used active computer flight control in the form of an autopilot. It was controlled by a radio command guidance system, and the commands received were sent through the onboard computer, which implemented the commands. Later versions used an N6 inertial navigation system, that completely controlled the X-10 while it was cruising. X-10s flew 15 flights from Edwards Air Force Base between 1953 and 1955, reaching a top speed of Mach 1.84. This outperformed most contemporary turbojet-powered aircraft. From 1955 testing took place from Cape Canaveral in Florida, where the X-10 reached the max speed of Mach 2.05. Five X-10s were produced. One exploded on takeoff, one was lost in flight and two were destroyed in landing accidents. One survived the test program, and was retired in 1958.